Okay, um, you know, real pleased with our with our victory last night. Uh, today we gave it our helmet stickers. Uh, Marlon Davison won the defensive helmet sticker again, two and a half sacks, uh, two and a half TFLs, six tackles. Uh, just played another outstanding game. Uh, Bailey Sharp uh, got our offensive uh, helmet sticker grade out at 86 percent. 12 knockdowns, his first start. Really proud of, of, of uh, Bailey and the way he played. And Anders Carlson, two field goals, his kickoffs uh, were all perfect ball placement. And of course, the squib right there we kicked off from the 50 yard line was well executed as far as that goes. So, really, hats off to those three guys uh, with that. A um, couple injury updates. Uh, first of all, Bailey Sharp um, you know, woke up this morning, his knee was swelled up and he's going to have to have a uh, procedure done this week and he's going to be out for six weeks so that's really tough news and hate that for him especially uh, with the way he played as far as that goes Derek Brown you know had an upper body contusion as he's day to day I'll know more as the the week goes on um, Derek Hall I uh, got some some pretty good news uh, from, from him uh, that he won't need any kind of uh, medical procedure or anything like that so I'll say that he's day to day too. We'll see how that goes as far as uh, the week goes with that. Seth, Seth Williams, uh, you know, we'll ho we're hopeful that he'll he'll practice Tuesday. So we'll we'll see where his, his status is as far as that. And then I think Prince Tega is kind of day to day too, and I'll know more once we get to Tuesday as far as that goes. But uh, you know, just getting prepared, uh, you know, for A and M. Uh, it was a good win for us. Uh, you know, we're three and O. It's exactly where we wanted to be at this point. We've got a lot of information um, in all three phases, um, you know, to get the best plan in all three phases moving forward once we get into SEC play. Questions? I guess the Bailey news is shocking, right? It, yes. Yes. It, 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 and he um, happened in the course of the game, and he said he felt it, but his adrenaline was, was going, and, you know, I just, just hate it for him. Who's the next man up at that spot? Well, we've got, you know, Broder's Ham is a guy that uh, it was good to get him some reps there. And, you know, we got the flexibility with our guards to play tackle too, you know, and we got some veteran guys that uh, that we feel good about. Nick Brahms is a guy that, you know, obviously started uh, in league play before that gives us some depth. So we've got a lot of different options, um, you know, as far as depth moving forward goes. Broderius was not playing tackle. Would he play way up from yeah, we, we'd move Driscoll. We'll, we'll keep him at right and uh, let him, you know, get his feet wet. It was good that he got some reps the other night, and I thought he performed pretty well. What did you say out of that in, you know, second offensive line as a group? Well, I mean, we had two touchdown drives. I mean, I think that's that's really good. Very productive. They tried to be physical. They got a good push up front. You know, we mixed in some zone with some gap, and um, I was impressed uh, with the way they ex they executed as a group. How did you feel like that as a as a scheme worked out? For you guys running the football kind of thing. Yeah, yeah. I think I think it worked out good mixing up a gap and, and zone. And you know, I think probably more than anything, it's just the commitment to run the football too. And you know, we talked last night about first down. I mean, first down success. Uh, we didn't have a whole lot of third down and, and longs during the game, and most were short, short, uh, third and short, or third and medium. You know, I think so. Um, you know, we've, uh, I said we're exactly where we wanted to be, you know, going into uh, our season. We're 3-0. We're and oh. We have very good information in all three phases uh, and just getting our plan, you know, for the rest of, uh, you know, the SEC play. Well, Joe has shown what he has as a runner. He's been surprising to us. Yeah. We don't get to see him as much as you do. Uh, can you use him as a wildcat or would you consider moving him in there instead of the wildcat or? Well, I mean, he was in there in the Wildcat. Yeah, so you know, he, he he gives us a lot of flexibility doing a lot of different things. You know, we had him and Bo in the field at the same time, a few snaps, and you know, we could we could see that grow. We'll just see each game will be a little bit different, but I think everybody can see that he's a definite threat. Um, you know, when he's out there. Bo was passing efficiency was obviously better. Last night. Yeah. Yeah, I thought he did a good job. Uh, did a good job managing our offense. You know, we, we got our pace. We were we were playing faster. Um, you know, he was able to keep it a couple times, and that really changed things. And you know, I thought he played well. You know, we had the one big drop on the wheel route down the, the sideline, um, but you know, he did a good job. And I think every game you'll see him get more and more comfortable. 
you know, just in fairness, that, that was his third third game to be out there. And I think that the, that each time he plays, everything will slow down. Um, you know, one thing about it, he's a, he's a great competitor, and, and I really like that about him. When, when Bo ran that touchdown in, uh, right after the, the TV camera showed you got really, really top focus in with him on something about a run, what was going on there? Yeah, I was just helping him with one of the things that we want to do next time we get in a certain situation. Do you find he responds better to that kind of coaching? That's how his dad coached him. Was he's a hard coach. You know, he, here's what I'd say about Bo. He's real hard on himself, you know. So, you know, that, that doesn't have to happen very much. I'm talking about using Jay, Jay Wilson out wide. Mm -hmm. I just wasn't really ready for that. Really? Yeah. You weren't ready for that. I told you last he's week that, big yeah. Receiver, right? Yeah, he's, um, you know, he did a good job. Uh, he did a good job playing without the ball, too, you know. and. His role grow, you know, each week too. You know, he just got here in the summer too, so he's still learning. But uh, he's got he's got a lot of ability. How much better was the rim to block, especially Shinker? He looked like he had a really good. Game. Yeah, it was better. We, we're still not there yet. I mean, that's that's one of the areas that we're focused on. We talked about that tonight, and we spent quality time on the practice field um, with our perimeter blocking. I mean, there's a couple guys that that did a solid job, but as a group, we got to improve. When you look at Texas A&M here, um, what sticks out to you? Well, they're, they're talented. Um, they got a good scheme. Uh, you know, they did a very good job defensively against us last year. I know with Kellen Mond, you're obviously very familiar with him mm -hmm. over, over the years. Yeah. How has he improved going into the season, second year? Well, I mean, you, yeah, he looks, he looks, he looks like uh, like got a year under his belt. You know, in their system, which makes all the difference in the world. Hey, when I want to ask you about McCreary a little bit, Roger McCreary. Mm -hmm. He got a way over the game. Yeah, he's getting more and more confidence uh, each game out. He's a very talented young man. And, uh, you know, I think he's getting more and more confidence because he's, he's getting a lot of opportunities. Did you notice him like in fall camp? Kind of yeah, it wasn't just fall camp. It was really in spring. You know, he got to play some last year, which was helping. He played some big games, and I just think he's just more confident this year. And that's half the battle at that position. you got to be really, really confident. Um, he's really responded well. Obviously, confidence is important, but have you seen that be a huge difference for Shreve Bell, just what he's done in the middle? Oh, yeah. No, there's no doubt. I mean, he's, he's playing at a different level than he did last year. And, uh, you know, he's, he's playing good football. You guys, where do you think it would be a key for Bob Nix to be successful in his first yeah, I mean, we'll, we'll do the, the normal, um, you know, crowd noise and all that. And really what we've done is every week, even when we played at home, we've been crowd noise, getting used to, um, you know, the different road games that we're going to have and everything that goes with that. So really hope that will help, um, you know, as far as that goes. Coach, uh, Nick Coley has one tackle for loss, no sacks so far this season. What do you need to sort of get him going? You know, Nick. Nick's close. Uh, I'll tell you that he's been close to uh, some plays, and he, he's a great competitor, and he'll he'll continue to improve. And I know those numbers will will improve.